What's going on everybody? Jared Setzer here. Welcome into part two of a three-part exterior cleaning project. If you haven't already, be sure to check out part one and be on the lookout for part three along with the full-length project, which of course is all three videos in one. This episode features the pressure washing that we did on this project, which of course was the most satisfying part, so thank you very much for tuning in. As always guys, leave a like, subscribe, Toss a comment in the comment section for your chance to get featured in the next wrapped up video. Be sure to stay till the end for your word of the day and leave her in the comments. Without further ado, up to the plate we have Christian Pinedo with his question, which happens to be a common one, how do you come up with the prices you charge for your work? Well Christian, I couldn't be happier you asked, because how is one supposed to quote jobs if they're not sure what it's worth? Let's get into this. What I tell everybody is to get a few jobs under their belt. To build confidence in what you charge, it will be a process. Don't expect to know overnight. It took me a long time and a few underbidded jobs to even have an idea of what I wanted to charge, let alone what my customers wanted to pay. The best advice I could give in general is to get off that ass and get her done. The more jobs you've done, the better idea you'll have on how efficient you could work and what your time is worth. So get out there and experiment. The worst thing you could do is overbid every quote and never have any jobs. So be fair, be reasonable, and try to put yourself in the homeowner's shoes and consider if you would pay what you're asking. If you've made it this far in the video, you're truly fam, and I can't appreciate you more. Your very long word of the day is, where the hell have you been, Jared? <laughs> <laughs> 